Your conscious mind is the watchman at the gate. Its chief function is to protect your subconscious mind from false impressions. Choose to believe that something good can happen and is happening now. Your greatest power is your capacity to choose. Choose happiness and abundance. The suggestions and statements of others have no power to hurt you. The only power is the moment of your own thought. You can choose to reject the thoughts or statements of others and affirm the good. You have the power to choose how you will react. Watch what you say. You have to account for every idle word. Never say I will fail, I will lose my job, I can't pay the rent. Your subconscious cannot take a joke. It brings all these things to pass. Your mind is not evil. No force of nature is evil. It depends how you use the powers of nature. Use your mind to bless, heal and inspire all people everywhere. Never say I can't. Overcome that fear by substituting the following. I can do all things through the power of my subconscious mind. Begin to think from the standpoint of the eternal truths and principles of life and not from the standpoint of fear, ignorance and superstition. Do not let others do your thinking for you. Choose your own thoughts and make your own decisions. You are the captain of your soul, subconscious mind and the master of your fate. Remember, you have the capacity to choose. Choose life, choose love, choose health, choose happiness. Whatever your conscious mind assumes and believes to be true, your subconscious mind will accept and bring to pass. Believe in good fortune, divine guidance, right action and all the blessings of life. Chapter 3 The Miracle Working Power of Your Subconscious The power of your subconscious is enormous. It inspires you, it guides you and it reveals to you names, facts and scenes from the storehouse of memory. Your subconscious started your heartbeat control the circulation of your blood regulates your digestion assimilation and elimination when you eat a piece of bread your subconscious mind transmutes it into tissue muscle bone and blood this process is beyond the ken of the wisest man who walks the earth your subconscious mind controls all vital processes and functions of your body and knows the answer to all problems your subconscious mind never sleeps and never rests it is always on the job You can discover the miracle working power of your subconscious by plainly stating to your subconscious prior to sleep that you wish a certain specific thing accomplished you will be delighted to discover that forces within you will be released leading to the desired result here then is a source of power and wisdom which places you in touch with omnipotence or the power that moves the world guides the planets in their course and causes the sun to shine Your subconscious mind is the source of your ideals, aspirations and altruistic urges. It was through the subconscious mind that Shakespeare perceived great truths hidden from the average man of his day. Undoubtedly, it was the response of his subconscious mind that caused the Greek sculpture Phidias to portray beauty, order, symmetry and proportion in marble and bronze. It enabled the Italian artist Raphael to print Madonnas and Ludwig van Beethoven to compose symphonies. In 1955, I lectured at the Yoga Forest University, Rishikesh, India, and there I chatted with a visiting surgeon from Bombay. He told me about Dr. James S. Dial, a Scots surgeon who worked in Bengal before either or other more modern methods of anesthesia were discovered. Between 1843 and 1846, Dr. S. Dial performed about 400 major operations on the eye, ear and throat. All operations were conducted under mental anesthesia only. This Indian doctor at Rishikesh informed me that the post-operative mortality rate of patients operated on by Dr. S. Dial was extremely low, probably 2 or 3 percent. Patients felt no pain and there were no deaths during the operations. Dr. S. Dial suggested to the subconscious minds of all his patients who were in a hypnotic state that that no infection or septic condition would develop. You must remember that this was before Louis Pasteur, Joseph Lister and others who pointed out the bacterial origin of disease and causes of infection due to unsterilized and virulent organisms. This Indian surgeon said that the reason for the low mortality rate and the general absence of infection which was reduced to a minimum was undoubtedly due to the suggestions of Dr. S. Dye to the subconscious minds of his patients. They responded according to the nature of his suggestion. It is simply wonderful when you conceive how a surgeon over 120 years ago discovered the miraculous wonder-working powers of the subconscious mind. 
doesn't it cause you to be seized with a sort of mystic awe when you stop and think of the transcendental powers of your subconscious mind consider its extrasensory perceptions such as its capacity for clairvoyance and clair audience its independence of time and space its capacity to render you free from all pain and suffering and its capacity to get the answer to all problems be they what they may all these and many more reveal to you that there is a power and an intelligence within you that far transcends your intellect causing you to marvel at the wonders of it all all these experiences cause you to rejoice and believe in the miracle working powers of your own subconscious mind your subconscious is your book of life whatever thoughts beliefs opinions theories or dogmas you write engrave or impress on your subconscious mind you should experience them as the objective manifestation of circumstances conditions and events what you write on the inside you will experience on the outside you have two sides to your life objective and subjective visible and invisible thought and its manifestation your thought is received by your brain which is the organ of your conscious reasoning mind when your conscious or objective mind accepts the thought completely it is sent to the solar plexus called the brain of your mind where it becomes flesh and is made manifest in your experience as previously outlined your subconscious cannot argue it acts only from what you write on it it accepts your verdict of the conclusions of your conscious mind as final this is why you are always writing on the book of life because your thoughts become your experiences the american essayist ralph waldo emerson said man is what he thinks all day long what is impressed in the subconscious is expressed william james the father of american psychology said that the power to move the world is in your subconscious mind your subconscious mind is one with infinite intelligence and boundless wisdom it is fed by hidden springs and is called the law of life whatever you impress upon your subconscious mind the latter will move heaven and earth to bring it to pass you must therefore impress it with the right ideas and constructive thoughts the reason there is so much chaos and misery in the world is because people do not understand the interaction of their conscious and subconscious minds when these two principles work in accord in concord in peace and synchronously together you will have health happiness peace and joy there is no sickness or discord when the conscious and subconscious work together harmoniously and peacefully the tomb of hermes was opened with great expectancy and a sense of wonder because people believed that the greatest secret of the ages was contained therein the secret was as within so without as above so below in other words whatever is impressed on a subconscious mind is expressed on the screen of space the same truth was proclaimed by moses isaiah jesus buddha zoroaster lao tse and all the illumined sages of the ages whatever you feel as true subjectively is expressed as conditions experiences and events motion and emotion must balance as in heaven your own mind so on earth in your body and environment this is the great law of life you will find throughout all nature the law of action and reaction of rest and motion these two must balance then there will be harmony and equilibrium you are here to let the life principle flow through you rhythmically and harmoniously the intake and the outgo must be equal the impression and the expression must be equal all your frustration is due to unfulfilled desire if you think negatively destructively and viciously these thoughts generate destructive emotions which must be expressed and find an outlet these emotions being of a negative nature are frequently expressed as ulcers heart trouble tension and anxieties what is your idea or feeling about yourself now every part of your being expresses that idea your vitality body financial status friends and social status represent a perfect reflection of the idea you have of yourself this is the real meaning of what is impressed in your subconscious mind and which is expressed in all phases of your life we injure ourselves by the negative ideas which we entertain how often have you wounded yourself by getting angry fearful jealous or vengeful these are the poisons that enter your subconscious mind you were not born with these negative attitudes feed your subconscious mind life giving thoughts and you will wipe out all the negative patterns lodged therein as you continue to do this all the past will be wiped out and remembered no more the subconscious heals the malignancy of the skin 
A personal healing will ever be the most convincing evidence of the healing power of the subconscious mind. Over 40 years ago, I resolved a malignancy of the skin through prayer. Medical therapy had failed to check the growth and it was getting progressively worse. A clergyman with a deep psychological knowledge explained to me the inner meaning of the 139th Psalm where it says, In thy book all my members were written which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. He explained that the term book meant my subconscious mind, which fashioned and molded all my organs from my invisible cell. He also pointed out that in as much as my subconscious mind made my body, it could also recreate it and heal it according to the perfect pattern within it. This clergyman showed me his watch and said, This had a maker, and the watchmaker had to give, have the idea first in mind before the watch became an objective reality, and if the watch was out of order, the watchmaker could fix it. My friend reminded me that the subconscious intelligence which created my body was like a watchmaker and it also knew exactly how to heal, restore and direct all the vital functions and processes of my body, but that I had to give it the perfect idea of health. This would act as cause and the effect would be a healing. I prayed in a very simple way as follows. My body and all its organs were created by the infinite intelligence in my subconscious mind. It knows how to heal me. Its wisdom fashioned all my organs, tissues, muscles and bones. This infinite healing presence within me is now transforming every atom of my being, making me whole and perfect now. I give thanks for the healing I know is taking place now. Wonderful are the works of the creative intelligence within me. I prayed aloud for about five minutes, two or three times a day, repeating the above simple prayer. In about three months, my skin was whole and perfect. As you can see, All I did was give life-giving patterns of wholeness, beauty and perfection to my subconscious mind, thereby obliterating the negative images and patterns of thought <coughs> lodged in my subconscious mind, which were the cause of all my trouble. Nothing appears on your body except when the mental equivalent is first in your mind, and as you change your mind by drenching it with incessant affirmatives, you change your body. This is the basis of all healing. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul, subconscious mind, knoweth right well. Psalm 139 is to 14. How the subconscious controls all functions of the body. While you are awake or sound asleep upon your bed, the ceaseless, tireless action of your subconscious mind controls all the vital organs of your body without the help of your conscious mind. For example, while you are asleep, your heart continues to beat rhythmically, your lungs do not rest, and the process of inhalation and exhalation whereby your blood absorbs fresh air, goes on just the same as when you are awake. Your subconscious controls your digestive processes and glandular secretions, as well as all the other mysterious operations of your body. The hair on your face continues to grow, whether you are asleep or awake. Scientists tell us that the skin secretes much more perspiration during sleep than during the waking hours. Your eyes, ears and other senses are active during sleep. For instance, many of our great scientists have received answers to perplexing problems while they were asleep. They saw the answers in a dream. Oftentimes, your conscious mind interferes with the normal rhythm of the heart, lungs and functioning of the stomach and intestines by worry, anxiety, fear and depression. These patterns of thought interfere with the harmonious function of your subconscious mind. When mentally disturbed, the best procedure is to let go, relax and and still the wheels of your thought processes. Speak to your subconscious mind, telling it to take over in peace, harmony and divine order. You will find that all the functions of your body will become normal again. Be sure to speak to your subconscious mind with authority and conviction and it will confirm to your command. Your subconscious seeks to preserve your life and restore you to health at all costs. It causes you to love your children, which also illustrates an instinctive desire to preserve all life. Let us suppose you accidentally ate some bad food. Your subconscious mind would cause you to regurgitate it. If you inadvertently took some poison, your subconscious powers would proceed to neutralize it. If you completely interested yourself to its wonder-working power, you would be entirely restored to health. How to get the subconscious to work for you? The first thing to realize is that your subconscious mind is always working. It is active night and day, whether you act upon it or not. Your subconscious is the builder of your body, but you cannot consciously perceive or hear that inner silent process. Your 
business is within your subconscious mind and not your conscious mind. Just keep your conscious mind busy with the expectation of the best and make sure the thoughts you habitually think are based on whatsoever things are lovely, true, just and of good report.